Welcome back to Gutty Gutsy, and uh, we're putting a band back together. I mean, the bike back together. Yes, we are refitting the oil lines, so be prepared for swearing and cussing, because it's going to be a fiddle. We are fitting our new oil lines. Not easy to get to. Next up is this monstrosity, and that's going to be a real pain in the ass. Yes, folks, that's where it lives. Uh, you've got to get those on simultaneously, which is going to be a real pain. I've taken the air filters off uh, to give us access in from the rear, like so. Uh, the question is, there are three more outlets uh, involved. Um, this one drained uh, onto the back wheel. Uh, just in front of the back wheel. Uh, these two connect up to these and back to our cylinder heads. So the question, as always, is the sequence of events, i.e. do we connect all those pipes up before we put it in there or afterwards? I think the answer is going to be afterwards. I think I can get to, uh, get to those top two anyway there relatively easily. And that bottom overflow drain thing uh, goes down that hole there somewhere. So I think we can circumnavigate all that. And I'm not going to film this uh, because there will be uh, abundance of expletives. I can guarantee you it's in. Not quite as difficult as I thought it was going to be. Uh, I haven't quite got those all the way down to the bottom of the tubing there but uh, they're good and tight and they're on at least 10 mil so uh, yeah now we've got to hook up that one that's going to be fun and those two which uh, should be fairly easy hopefully well they slipped on uh, nice and easy so just a question of tightening them up and uh, connecting these up Nice. So there we have it. Nice new oil lines. Shiny and red. Lovely. Very nice indeed. So oil line wise that just leaves uh, that one there which is going to be fun for sure. And then this one here which also drained onto the road. So uh, that now, of course, enough. this overflow is the one that we were going to put into our oil catch can, wherever that uh, ends up being. And I'm wondering if we can do the same with, uh, with that one. Oh, I don't know. If we can do some kind of Y joint into there. Anyway, this one is 8mm uh, inside diameter. Uh, this one is a 14 outside diameter there and that's probably about a 10 so we've got all kinds of stuff to marry up and of course we don't have any 10 mil so that's on order a lot of pipage in there no 10 mil we have 14 mil tubing should have enough and there it is uh, successfully installed and uh, trailing a long way don't know where we're going to chop it off or root it. We shall see. So that's about it for the oil lines. Um, fuel lines next, right? Okay, uh, fuel hoses going back on. Uh, I actually used uh, a little lighter just to warm up the tube a little bit. S help squeeze it on there. It's a nice tight fit. Um, same the other side down there. I just got to root it all properly. And then we're good to go. Well, I think that's about it. There's the crossover piece. And then we've got one coming up to the petcock here. One going across, coming up to the petcock here. That looks about right. The only issue we've got is on this side. As you can see, it's kind of collapsing. 
because of that angle so that will be a fuel starvation issue uh, so we need to kind of just pull it up like that so we'll have to strap it on somewhere up here to keep that nice and straight all right again uh, something like that there we go good Okay, uh, pet cocks in position. So that's going to go something like that. Chop a bit off. And um, we're good down there, no kinks. Got a bit of a kink in the one going to the other side. You can't see it from it. Let's see if I can shed any light on that. Yeah, a little bit of a kink there. Let's see if we can sort that out. Well, this side uh, is about perfect length, actually. That'll fit just nicely. Like that, so let's go and check that kink out the other end. Oh, I think that will be okay. I think it's kind of sorted itself out. Good. So that's about it for the uh, fuel and oil lines. Um, obviously we've got to hook the fuel lines up to the tank. Not going to do that immediately. Want good access to uh, in there because I think we're just going to put the conventional coils back in there. Uh, which is going to be a fiddle even with the tank off. Other than that, we've got this, if we're going to fit it at all. Um, I was looking at putting it on our seat mount, actually. So we've got that strap there. So I was thinking, kind of mounting it under there somehow. But, uh, of course, what that means is it's going to be, those are going to be pointing down. Um, and I really wanted them like that, so I don't know if I'm going to even bother fitting it. Because essentially it's only vapour um, at the best of times, unless you get a horrible surge, I guess. Um, so we might just dump it on the ground like the other one, uh, like Modi Gutsy did in the first so place. I think we'll call it a day for this episode, and we'll catch up on all those final little um, fittings in the final episode. Um, which is coming very shortly. So do stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in this time, of course, as always. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe down here somewhere. Give the video the thumbs up. And of course, encourage others to watch my lunacy.